East Baltimore is the poorest, most violent area of Baltimore. Gunshot would be there with uh, all the gang uh, activity and the illegal drug trade, poverty and violence. Kids' lives are so negative that the closer we got to the situation, the, the, the more stark the need was. When we tried to go out and have a community service day, the red tape that we had to cut through was ridiculous. To get into the public schools, to, to be in a position to help. We really felt it was important change the lives of the kids in Baltimore to make a difference. Hi, my name's John Hallis, and I'm with Keller Williams in Ellicott City, Maryland. I'm the coordinator for Red Day Maryland that uh, has helped East Baltimore for the last three years. We actually have a connection with Open Door Baltimore, which was a small non-for-profit that was helping families down in the poorest, most violent area of Baltimore. The first Red Day, they had a need for us to actually move their headquarters from one location to another. And then William Packett Elementary School needed some help with their library and a couple of other projects. The second Red Day, we said we really want to focus on the school. There were a lot of skeptical folks in the community because a lot of people had made promises and nobody had delivered. Well, the second year we came back, they really started scratching their heads. But what really happened the second year that was significant was that the school said when they looked at this massive list that we had put together, we really have to get the kids out of the school because you're gonna be painting. So they said, we're gonna do a field day. We're gonna take them out to Patterson Park. And so we had uh, snow cones the first year. We had a DJ uh, doing dances. We got uh, somebody to sponsor lunch for us for 640 kids plus all the volunteers. It was just an amazing, amazing day and we really figured out that we had really stumbled onto something significant. The fact that we were able to do this with the kids just brought in so much emotion and tugged at heartstrings to help that uh, we hadn't experienced uh, up to that point. Our third year down in uh, East Baltimore, uh, the principal at William Pack Elementary School said her friend was a principal at Dr. Bernard Harris and wondered if we could do both schools for Red Day. And we figured out we were going to need about $50,000 to do two schools, to do two field days. When John said we're adding on a second school, Dr. Bernard Harris, um, I said, are you crazy? <laughs> and he said, yes. And I said, let's do it. Tasha Linton has been our connector. She is the bridge between folks with a big heart and Red Day. You know, we went to supermarkets and Target and, you know, Walmart, the big lenders, title companies, you know, just anyone. They'd say, well, what can we do for you? And I'd say, we will take anything, <laughs> anything that you can possibly help us with. We had a massive fundraiser, four different Outback restaurants around the four market centers that were involved in Red Day and we raised 24,000 of the 50,000. The rest of it was corporate donations and folks who just committed $20 at a time. The more I put that vision in front of the people, what does the best day a kid ever had look like? And the people just took the ball and started running with it. Day starts early. Our volunteers uh, are there before sunrise getting it ready for the best day a kid could ever have. The city of Baltimore, they gave us a police presence at, at the event. Around 8.30, 9 o'clock, the kids get to school. In the case of William Pack Elementary School, we have a parade, uh, which is two and a half blocks up to Patterson Park. All the way, that path is lined by volunteers, high-fiving them. In the case of Dr. Bernard Harris, which was our first year there, we transformed the gymnasium into the Dream Team Fashion Station. There were clothes on racks, and the kids would go around and find clothes in their size. And then we had someone do their nails, and someone do their hair, and someone do their makeup. To hear the teachers say that they've never seen the girls so excited and so vibrant, you know, it was, it was exciting. For the crowning achievement of that day, we had a concert by Wordsmith. You'll never be the same. The girls in their outfits walked across the stage, and all the volunteers gave them love. And, and clap for them. Meanwhile, we have several hundred volunteers in the school. We had teams that washed all of the oil and grime off the walls, and then we had the paint team uh, behind them. 
We painted murals on walls. We uh, established two teacher lounges this year. We had one of our new uh, homes construction companies that donated a lot of their uh, model home furniture. It's just been a wonderful team effort. For one day to make a difference in a child's life, that's worth the planning for nine months, 10 months that we put into it. To watch them be free and carefree, because you know that when they go home that that's not gonna be the case. They get breakfast and they get lunch at school. And if the schools didn't do that, then they wouldn't eat all day. To be able to give a child a, a lunch, a lot of them were like, we get to eat this? You know, they come up, can I have an apple? Yes, absolutely, take an apple. Do you mind if I take two? Can I give my brother one? Or watching a little boy, you know, I handed him a banana and he'd never peeled a banana before, so. There are people who say, why do we keep going back to the same schools? And we say, because our work's not done yet. But I think that's what Keller Williams is emboldening uh, me and our fellow Keller Williams agents to do, is to, to commit to a higher level of doing business and doing business that blesses other people. I truly do appreciate the time that you've taken, the sacrifices that you've made, the donations that you've given in order to make things a little bit brighter for the boys and girls here. To the other market centers that are out there, I, I would just say start small and if, if it's relevant, if it's authentic, uh, we don't have to worry about, you know, driving it bigger. It could be working with the elderly. It could be feeding the homeless. You know, pick something that's near and dear to your heart and then just focus on it and, and make it happen and change lives. I would love to see this model uh, be made available to other major cities uh, to partner with a, a nonprofit that's on the ground similarly uh, passionate. My goal is how can we make it more than a day? How can we create the next generation of Red Day volunteers who are given back to the community? Even if Red Day is no longer coming to East Baltimore one day, that there are things going on that Red Day spawned, that, that Red Day birthed an attitude, a generosity. That would be incredible. And that's really our goal and our vision.